Welcome back to Wistrend TV. It's your sister Eunice in the house today and today the background is a little bit busy and a little bit different because I'm at Karoski right now at Shinsa Station. Woo! Yes, fancy schmancy. I think I need to go shopping after this. However, the reason why I'm here today is Wish Company is doing clinical tests for the first time to prove the effects of our products. So I know that everybody's really excited and I'm very curious too. But right now, uh, here the research lab is the place that we're going to be doing these clinical tests. So I don't know if you guys are excited, but I'm very excited. So I'm going to explain a little bit more after we get inside. All right guys, so now we are here. I'm gonna quiet a little bit in this part because it's the Global Medical Research Center and we're in the front right now. So this is a place where they do clinical tests for clinical and skin research labs. So what they do is they test the safety and also the function of cosmetics, functional cosmetics, health supplements, medicine, makeup, and actually makeup and medicine tools and everything and etc. Oh my gosh, I did not know this, but did you guys know that the clinical tests are really expensive? Because they require you to use very expensive equipment, you need the right testes, and also you need to test for a long, period of time. That's why because of all of these reasons, it costs $10,000 per one product. And I think that's why we're doing only three tests first for three products, not instead of the whole products. You know what I'm saying? Okay guys, so now we're gonna go in. Let's go. So as you guys know already, Wish Trenders, if you are a Wish Trender, you know that we have the brands Claire's, By Wish Trend, and Jungle Botanics, right? Those three brands we have developed, we have researched, we have produced, and we do sell at the same time. And actually, we're very, very proud of those brands. So to provide the safety and actual the effect of the formulation that we're very, very proud of, basically what we're going to do is test three products that's functional products from our brands. As you guys know, Wish Trend and Wish Company is against animal testing. That's why clinical test refers to experiments where you directly apply the medicine or the cosmetic product onto human body. And because the tests are all done on human body, it has to be done very, very carefully. And I actually didn't know this either, but Seoul is the most active city in clinical trials all in Asia. I'm kind of excited, I'm kind of nervous, and I didn't tell you this before, but the reason why I'm here today is I'm going to be participating in the clinical test. So I don't know what's coming, but I'm ready, so let's go. All right, guys, so now I'm going to do my cleansing because we're going to be doing three different tests to test out the before of exactly what kind of condition my face is in at the moment. Let's start with cleansing. Okay, guys, so I just finished my cleansing and now we have to wait in this room for 30 minutes me including all the other testes the because the reason is because we want the constant humidity and constant temperature so right now i don't know if you could hear but the ac is on so they have a specific temperature where they're going to keep all the testes together with the same equal standards because when we start the test they want to make sure that everybody starts at a certain level together so i'm gonna wait here for 30 minutes without anything on my face All right, so the clinical tests are gonna be on Biowistrum Mandalic Acid 5% Skin Prep Water, and then we're gonna be doing testings on Biowistrum Propolis Ample, and then the last product is gonna be Claire's Vitamin Drop. And the categories that we're gonna be testing on, effectiveness in improving skin texture, effectiveness of improving micro-dead skin cells, the last one is checking whether it is low irritant on the skin or not. And basically, the whole thing sounds really complicated, right? But we're not doing every single one of the testings for each of the products. 
but only the effects of each product that we need approbation by. So today, the test that I'm gonna participate, I'm gonna be using BioWisher and Mandala 5% Skin Prep Water. We're gonna be testing two different tests, and the first one is the improvement for skin texture, and the second one is gonna be improvement for micro dead skin cells. So if we can exfoliate, I guess, the micro dead skin cells, and the second test is gonna be for improvement of the skin texture. So let's see if it can do that. There's not a standard level of what we want to see that this product can achieve, but we are filming the before to see the afterwards. So before and after is gonna be very important because we're gonna see how the skin was beforehand. And after we use this product for two weeks, we're gonna see the afterwards, and that's gonna be our standard of how much it improved over the two weeks. And I'm not not alone in this, we actually have 20 other contestants here waiting together for the 30 minutes and for the clinical trial. The reason is because we need at least minimum of 20 people to be able to see the results. Let's wait together 30 minutes. <laughs> All right, so guys, I'm finally done with the clinical test and it was pretty fun actually. I was kind of scared, but it was really fun. And you know how I always say that my skin's super sensitive? Well, the test results show that my skin was really sensitive. For the texture part and for the micro dead skin cells, it came out to be pretty good. I think it's because I do really focus on making sure to exfoliate regularly. And I've been using mandelic acid ever since it came out for like, it's been about a year or so. So I think that's why it was in pretty good condition. So actually the researcher kind of complimented me. And I'm gonna try out mandelic acid twice a week. And actually the testees are gonna be doing it every every single day for two weeks for both morning and night routine. But however, y'all know my skin is sensitive, so I'm gonna do it twice a week, but I'm gonna do it after my toner step. So I'm gonna do toner and then mandelic acid twice a week for two weeks, and then I will be back. Okay, so I'll see you guys in two weeks. Bye! Hi guys! So I just took a really nice shower, and yes, you're seeing a portion of my room. Um, like I was saying, um, I'm so sleepy right now. It's, it's like past 12 o'clock and I was editing, so I'm really tired. But anyways, today is the first day I'm going to put on my mandelic acid. And how I do it is because it does contain um, a type of AHA, mandelic acid. Uh, for me, I feel like if I put it on directly after cleansing, it kind of irritates my skin. So what I'm doing is right now I'm using Claire's toner on cotton pad just to gently remove any of the remaining sebum, remaining dirt, remaining nastiness off of my face. Mm -hmm. So how I use it is like this. I do one layer of toner first. And then I'm going to pick that up later. <laughs> I'm going to use the mandelic acid. This is actually the bottle that the clinic um, gave to me. So hold on. Okay, so I'm going to use a cotton pad. And the texture is really, really watery. And then I'm just gonna put it on like this. Notice I'm dabbing it in lightly. Please improve the texture. Please remove the dead skin cells. I have a little breakout, I think around the neck area. So I'm gonna put it on my neck too. It also helps with the inflammation too, when you have inflammatory acne. So 
I'm done. Okay, guys. So I put my toner on, and afterwards, I'm putting on the mandelic with the cotton pad, just gently soaking everything in. And and right now, I'm lying down on my bed because I'm really tired today. <laughs> As you can see, uh, and by the way, I heard that my result uh, of my, you know, um, how the mandelic acid worked for my skin, it's not going to be able to be included in the clinical trial that everybody's doing because everyone's using it for both day and night routine, like twice a day. Um, but for me, I'm only using it one to two times, two times uh, a week right now after my toner. So I feel like. Um, for those of you that um, have sensitive skin like myself, you guys can definitely just use it like how I'm using it. But any uh, other skin types can use it more often. But anyways, that's it. I'm just going to put on my cream and go to sleep today. Bye. Hi guys. So this is the third time that I'm using it now. And I have just one more time left. Uh, just use my toner and soak it in the mandelic. Maybe one more time around the T zone and where I have a lot of the skin cells. Go away, dead skin cells. Go away, blackheads and whiteheads. Hi guys, so I'm really tired today, but um, today is the fourth time that I'm going to be putting the mandelic on, but I'm really excited because actually tomorrow or the day after tomorrow is the day that I go in to test the results. So let's see what these baby can do for my skin. And as always, I put on my toner first because I do have sensitive skin. And I'm using a cotton pad and mandelic acid to gently, not even swipe, but just gently soak in the mandelic acid. For those of you guys that have like normal skin types, you guys can use it right after cleansing. But if you do have sensitive skin like myself, you guys can do it this way. Gently soak everything in. And I have a little bit of whiteheads here these days, so I'm gonna put it on my neck too. Okay guys, so that is it, and hopefully when I see the result, ugh, I'm just excited of like, um, maybe the skin texture improvement, or yeah, so I don't know what to expect, but I'll see you guys at the clinic, the research place. Bye! Hey guys, welcome back to the research center. It's been two weeks and I am a little bit excited at the same time really nervous to see the results. So let's hurry up and go and check it out. So guys, right now I've just finished cleansing and I'm gonna wait 30 minutes, same as last time when I first came and then I'm gonna see the results. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm so excited that I got to see the results. And it's amazing because I only used it for two weeks, total of four times, and there were a difference. So I'm really excited about that. And I used it right after my toner step. So for those of you that have sensitive skin types as well, I think you could use it like me, using it after the toner step and then the mandelic acid, and you'll still be able to see the results to remove dead skin cells and to improve your skin texture.
and I'm so thankful to Wish Trend TV. It was really fun to be a part of this clinical test. It was my very first time, so I didn't really know what to expect, but it was a really eye-opening and kind of a really good experience for me to be able to see the results of before and after. And for the three products that I've mentioned before in the beginning of the video, the clinical test results will be out in September in the middle. So you guys will be able to see the results at wishtrend.com and also the brand's websites as well. So please check that out and I think it'll be fun to see the results. All right, guys. So hope you guys enjoy this vlog style type of content at Wish Trend TV. If you liked it, please leave it in the comments below of how much you like this video. And also, if you have other products from wishtrend.com that you want it to go through that clinical test, please let us know because this time we're doing mandalic acid, vitamin drop, and we're doing propolis ample. So yeah, let us know in the comments below. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.